Coach, a 4-1 loss to Maine today, a very good undefeated 3-0 Maine team. Uh, your assessment of today's contest? Right. Well, I think um, overall, uh, I have to credit Maine on, on their performance. Uh, their backfield did a tremendous job against our striker line. And ultimately, you know, we struggled to get shots off on goal. Um, and we also struggled in, in, in the attacking third. Um, we're going to have to make a big adjustment with that, but it was a great um, opportunity for our striker line, midline, to feel that type of a pressure of a top 20 team. Uh, we made some adjustments in the second half, and I thought we were much more competitive. Um, it wasn't where we need to be, but we, we did open up some scoring lines, unfortunately. We, we missed the cage, but we did get some shots off, so I was happy with that. Coach, uh, you said it yourself. They held you just one shot on goal. Uh, what was Maine's back line doing defensively to keep you guys in check for so long? Well, they were, uh, honestly, they were, they were very smart. They played a, a traditional man-to-man -man against us, and um, in a man-to-man -man defense, you have to break from from them, and um, you have to create a path away from them, and you also, when you receive the ball, have to look to pass immediately, and we did a little bit too much dribbling once we were, once we did receive the ball, so we, those things are just, they're minor adjustments, and you know, we haven't played a real strict, tight man-to-man -man defense um, in any of the games that we've played so far, so this will be a good prep for some of the other teams. Uh, Coach, how do you feel Lauren Seltis and Kara Swan did the same goal, and moving forward, what do you think? will be for goalie situation. Like right. Well, I, um, as far as both of those guys get in there, I felt they stepped up with a lot of confidence, which is which is great. Um, you know, th their job is to uh, keep the ball out of the net. So um, I think, like I said, we have to start with their confidence and their ability to organize the defense. And I thought that um, definitely in the first half, we made an adjustment after Maine had called a timeout um, down the center, center with our center defenders and our center midline, and uh, that allowed Lauren Saltis to use some strong communication um, to make that adjustment on the field as we talked to him and the coaching staff. So I think she did a very good job with that. Um, in the second half, when uh, Karis came in, I thought also she continued to to take off where Lauren, Lauren Saltis was. So. Um, as far as the communication goes, um, we've got to do a better job and, and not let the shots, you know, you know, to be scored on. But um, again, you know, I thought they were both very steady, and I felt confident in both teams. I'm not certain what we do for Sunday just yet. What positives can you take from this game moving forward and going into Sunday's game and after Sunday? What can you really take from it as what went well today? Well, you know, we designed the schedule. This is. We want to be playing the top teams in the league, in the country. If we can do that, we're going to put ourselves in preparation for the CA League. So, um, taking the positives from playing this type of game, we know it's going to be a step up. Certainly, with Syracuse, I, in my eyes, I think they're number one in the, in the nation. I think they have a great chance to be national champions again. So, um, for us, it's about stepping on that field to give our best effort, never step on the field knowing you're going to lose. You step on this field always prepared to win, so you're going to put your for your best foot forward and work ethic for 70 straight minutes. So uh, I think we had a good little test today, and uh, we're going to even have to step it up a notch on Sunday.